Hey everybody, back again with more Ruby, and from the looks of this episode title, it's looking like we're getting a, a little episode about my boy Jean. We're on episode 11, Jean -dens. and I think the next episode is a part 2 to this, so you know I'm here for that. He's probably like my number 2 character right now, number 1 being Pyrrha, I just like how wholesome she is. And she, she's looking like a secret savage right now, probably not a secret savage because everybody knows that she's kind of nasty from the way Weiss was talking about her a couple episodes ago, but I'm liking her. And I'm liking John, and we're getting a John episode, so I'm with it. Hopefully, we'll get a Pira episode next, and then after that, I hope I get a Yang episode. <laughs> those are, those are my top three right now. But yeah, last episode we had a little character development for Weiss, kind of quick to be honest. You know, it, she kind of flipped around 360 in one episode, but you know, probably a whole budget thing. They probably had no more time to spend on that little subplot, so I'm cool with it. And plus, the the info, like the way she turned around. Was, was nice like everybody told her well not everybody the one teacher told her like yo you're acting like a brat you know to support ruby if, if you really think you're supposed to be the leader you know be there for her and the team and if she ever needs like somebody to lean on you're there for it i was like all right cool yeah <laughs> i'm with that it wasn't super cliche but yeah but now we're getting a nice clean episode on john hopefully it touches on what i was talking about a few episodes ago it was like everybody seems pretty skilled and nasty you know with the shits in this whole cast of characters, you know, even Ruby, who's like three, two years younger than the whole cast so far, even she's nasty. But Jean, he's not. Like, how did he get into school? Was he homeschooled? Because it's not like he can't fight. Because in that whole Scorpion battle, he was doing his little thing, you know, blocking to the left, blocking to the right. But compared to anybody else, it's a little off because he, he didn't even know about Aura. And apparently, that's like a pre established thing, I guess they teach in primary school or whatever they're called in this world <laughs> so i hope we get a little bit on that like why is he so i guess under skilled compared to anybody else like was he maybe homeschooled and you know he wasn't getting the whole professional training that everybody was getting and then he got accepted into beacon as like some kind of homeschooled student or something i don't know he also said like in episode two that like uh, his weapons were like a hand-me-down so maybe he was like homeschooled and like I guess his family has ties to get him into the school I don't know but enough talking for me because you know I ramble too much <laughs> just trying to get just just trying to show y'all where my headspace is at right now let's get right into the episode goofy headset engage can't forget that <sighs> ba bow all right starting up episode 11 Jondance. Oh, it's the other character that's not a shadow. <laughs> I wonder how his weapon's gonna turn to a gun. Cause it's gonna turn to a gun, right? Oh. Now come on, John. This is the part where you lose. Over my dead. Oh. <laughs> Hey, relax, bro. Oh, okay. That's enough. Yeah, little health bars. Students, as you can see, Mr. Ark's aura has now dropped into the red. I love me some Glenda scenes. Duel, this will <laughs> indicate that John is no longer fit for battle, and that the official may call the match. Okay, so the life bars Mr. were Ark, his aura now. levels. Please try to refer to your scroll during combat. Gauging your aura will help you decide when it is appropriate to attack, or when it is better to move to a more defensive strategy. Mm. I guess, but I don't, I don't know how useful that would be. Like, where you supposed to just pull out your phone in a fight? I don't know about that. Remember, everyone, the uh, vital like we got our, is only a few ourselves away. a douche character. It won't be long before students from the other kingdoms start arriving in Vale, so keep practicing. Other students. Those who to compete in the combat tournament will be representing... Oh, oh, oh. are we getting a tournament arc? <laughs> Let me relax. So I wonder, are these episodes going to be a nice little training arc for my boy Jean Arc? You see what I did there? Because I saw it. That's why I said it. <laughs> they were Beowulf. Dozens of them! Two of them. <laughs> they were no match. And in the end, Ren and I took them down and made a boatload of Lian selling Ursa's skin rugs. <sighs> She's been having this recurring dream for nearly a month now. Jean, are you... Why is my man holding the cup like that? Huh? Oh, yeah. Why? It's just that you seem a little not okay. Uh, 
Guys, I'm fine. Seriously, look. So my boy eating chicken nuggets and mashed potatoes? Cause that sounds like it slams. Jean, Carden has been picking on you since the first week of school. Uh, who? Carden Winchester? Let's beat his ass. Not my boy. Around, <laughs> Practical jokes. He's a bully. Oh please. Name one time he's bullied me. <laughs> the way his arms flailed was funny. <laughs> All right, that, that, that was uh, that was fucked up. <laughs> Funny, but fucked up. Store your weapons and extra armor. Additionally, your locker can be sent to a custom location based on a six-digit code. Oh, so they don't carry the okay. All right, relax. Wow, teacher, teacher. <laughs> but it's cool that they get these little lockers. I thought they just carried the weapons all the time. Jean, you know if you ever need help, you can just ask. We'll break his legs. Do it. <laughs> Guys, really, it's fine. Besides, it's not like he's only a jerk to me. He's a jerk to everyone. Oh, that I guess that's a way to look at it. All right. Please stop. How is there not people being his ass already? Like, is he not? Is he that nice? Especially when you have Pierre and Ruby there. And Yang? Nah. I can't stand people like him. He's not the only one. I guess it's like he a private school, so I guess they just can't beat his ass. But, you know, I come from a public school background, you know. <sighs> if someone starts some shit, <laughs> they're going to get the shits. <laughs> wow. All right. Let's get right on to the next one. hope this is resolved quickly. I don't want to see my boy Jean like this. I don't want to see it. My boy napping. Humankind was quite, quite animate about centralizing Fauna's population in Menagerie. Now, while this must feel like ancient history to many of you, it is imperative to Child's remember story, the relatively recent events. Why the repercussions of the uprising can still be seen to this day. Now, have any among wait, wait, wait. you can seize our relative... Well, this must this is like some, this sounds like some grade A background while not focusing on the main plot type of stuff he's saying. Listen, it's prior to the Faunus Rights Revolution, more popular known as the Faunus War, humankind was quite, quite adamant about centralizing Faunus population in Menagerie. Now, that is a Faunus. Like ancient history to many of you, it is imperative to remember that these are relatively recent events. Why the repercussions of the uprising can still be seen to this day. Now, have any among you been subjugated or discriminated because of your father's heritage? Shadow man. Dreadful, simply dreadful. Is Faunus like animal people? This kind of ignorance that breeds violence. Hmm. I mean, I mean, I mean, just look at what happened to the White Fang. Now, which the White Fang scholars can tell me what many theorists believe to be the turning point in the third year of the war? Yes. The battle at Fort Castle. Precisely. And who <laughs> Fort Castle. the advantage the Faunus had over General Lagoon's forces? Hey, Black. Big Dog, finally contributing to class. This is excellent, excellent. What is the Put answer? my boy on the spot. Uh, the answer. Hey, look, look around. Look for the, the answer. The advantage uh, the Faunus had over that. Uh, headgear? Eyes? But not. <laughs> I was going to say binoculars. Binoculars. Uh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely someone with eyes, though. He, he, he was close. He was close. We were close. I know it's a lot easier to train an animal than a soldier. You're not the most open-minded of individuals, are you, Carden? Oh. You got a problem? No. I have beat his ass. It's night vision. Many fauna oh. are known to have nearly perfect sight. Yeah, because I guess they're part animals. <laughs> General Legume was inexperienced and made the mistake of trying to ambush the Faunus in their sleep. His massive army was outmatched and the general was captured. Perhaps if he'd paid attention in class, he wouldn't have been remembered as such a failure. Get him! <laughs> Mr. Winchester. Oh, my, my boy stood up. <laughs> Relax. You and Mr. Ark could both see me after class for additional readings. Oh. He kind of deserved that, bro. You said binoculars. 
Only he said binoculars. You go on ahead. <laughs> I'll wait for Jean. You two have been struggling in my class since day one. Now, I don't know if it's a lack of interest or just your stubborn nature, but whatever it is, it stops now. You well, were trying to get entrance to the school, and we only accept the best of the best. So, I expect you to act like it. History is important, gentlemen. If you can't learn from it, there it goes again. It's like destined to repeat it. They were Ladies accepted. To 91, I want an essay on my desk by next class. Now, John, I love you, bro, but how the hell did you get in, bro? He he must have had like, you know, some pull. His family must be some craziness. He he probably comes from like a rich family or something. Ah, you know. I really will break his legs. <laughs> I have an idea. Here, come with me. We got the slow music. I'm not one for shipping, but <sighs> my two favorite characters. Pira, I know I'm going through a hard time right now, but I'm not that depressed. I can always be a relax. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> That's not why I brought you up here, Jean. I was thinking I about double suicide at her. Time in class. Ooh, is that Cardin down there? Still not the strongest of fighters. Is that so him? I want to help you. What? We can train up here after class, where no one can bother us. Ooh, that's a come up. You think I need help? That's a come up. No, no, that's not what I meant. But you just said it, Jean. Everybody needs a little push from time to time. Yeah. It doesn't make you any different from the rest of and us. And you're getting it from the best waifu in the show. What's what's the problem here? That speaks what's volumes the problem? of what you're capable of. You're wrong. I, I don't belong here. That's a terrible thing to say. Of course you do. No, I don't. We're getting a little heavy now. I wasn't really accepted into Beacon. What do you mean? I mean, I didn't go to combat school, I didn't pass any tests, I didn't earn my spot at this academy. The fuck happened then? I lied. I got my hands on some fake transcripts, and I lied. Ah, shit. What? But why? Because this is what I've always wanted. I hope that wasn't Cardin down there my now. My father, my grandfather, and his father before him were all warriors. But this show uses shadow heroes. people, so that was definitely him. I wanted to be one too. I was just never good enough. Ah, then shit. let me help you. I don't want help i don't don't want do a blackmail arc please hero. john I... i'm tired of being the lovable idiot stuck in the tree while his friends this is probably the most like don't you understand acting we've gone from him so far if i can't do this on my own his voice acted i mean hmm. just leave me alone okay if that's what you think is bro you're, you're the leader of the team you can't be doing this uh. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, uh, Cardin. I couldn't help but overhear you two from my dorm room. This man is like 80% arms. Beacon, huh? I gotta say, <laughs> arms mad long. You to be such a rebel. Please, mm, please such a rebel. Tell anyone. John, come on. I've never ratted a friend like that. Uh, a friend? Your arms are distracting, uh, sir. <laughs> Friends now, Johnny boy. Ah, oh, shit, they're the gonna blackmail him. As long as you're there for me when I need you, we'll be friends for a long time. <laughs> that being said, I really don't have time to do those extra readings, Dr. Ubike. Fuck! I think you could take care of that for me, buddy? That's what I thought. We might have to break his legs now. John, your secret's safe with me. Stand. Man. Well, that was the end of my Jean centric episodes. Okay, so I mean, we got the answers that I was asking for earlier. How do you get into school and not, but. I didn't want it to happen this way. Let me get the let me get these headsets off, man. Let me, let me get it off, bro. We know why Jean is so underskilled now. You didn't go to combat school, which I guess is the there are equivalent to primary school. And on top of that, he forged documents to get into Beacon. How the hell did he do that? <laughs>
Okay, so there, there, there's something going on here. How did he, how did he get documents for this prestigious school? Cause he ain't just break in. Not when they got highly skilled students. You know the teachers are probably crazy then. Like this man didn't just break in and steal documents. They must be sold on like some kind of black market, and then he got some kind of hookup. I don't know. Or his family is warriors or anything like that. Or anything prestigious like that. Maybe they're a group of criminals? I don't know. I need answers for that. But now we got the introduction of this Arden character? Carden? Cardens? I forgot his name already. Now we're going to a black male subplot. He overheard the conversation with Pure. And damn, he, John had to come up with Pure, man. She was about to give him the one-on-one teacher, student, tutoring. He had the best girl. <laughs> And then he tossed it away. But I would say, um, the acting on uh, John's voice actor this episode was really good. I mean, maybe it was really good because it's the most emotion we've gotten from his character thus far in the series. That like he's usually the, the happy-go-lucky jokester. But, I don't know. It hit heavy, you know? Music was on point, setting was on point, and delivery, it was there. You see, I don't know, uh, I had it in my head that maybe Monty was doing the animations for everything in the show, but it's definitely clear that he's not. Because there were some animation points, like when um, Cardins was like messing with John, like it was a little flubbery. <laughs> but you know, we're not we're not gonna dive too much into that. I, I just thought it was like really funny the way it came out. <laughs> like his arms were just flailing. This man's like 80% arms. That's crazy. But just like how Weiss's little story arc wrapped up relatively quick, I hope this one is quick too. Because it seems like it's going to go for a couple more episodes, more than uh, Weiss's. Weiss's only two, and this is the second episode I just finished. So, maybe another double episode about this whole Jean and Cardin, whatever his name was, uh, little mini story. I wonder if they'll become friends, because, you know, Ruby has been throwing a couple of curveballs. You know, everything isn't too cliche in the show, but I don't know, maybe they'll become friends. Maybe, like, maybe he'll get his legs broken. They've been talking about it the whole time. <laughs> maybe Jean will be his ass. I don't know. But we got the answers I was asking for. And I don't know if I like the outcome, man. It's not my boy Jean. And then on top of that, he's the leader. Like, he's going through all of this. He's looking weak in front of his people. <laughs> like, we got this man bullying the leader? Nah, man. Uh, I wonder how his team is going to approach this. Because Pyrrha, no actually she doesn't know. She she left right before Cardin came up and you know started blackmailing him. So I don't I don't know where this is going, man. And oh, I almost forgot we got that little tidbit about uh fondness animal people. I don't know. It seemed like there was in the past there might be like some kind of uh, segregation between the people and them. I'm not too sure. I don't, like it went by the guy was talking really fast and he was moving really fast and like. It was kind of feller with the background because they were focusing on what their character's reaction to what Cardin was doing, so I was trying to pay attention to that too. But it seemed like there was something going on with these uh, Faunus people, and we got the introduction uh, introduction of uh, Bunny Girl. She seems important. She has a character design, so she seems somewhat important. I'm not too sure. She seems like, yeah, that's the first uh, Faunus character we have in the show. So she's definitely probably going to be important in some way. Maybe her and John are probably going to team up and take down Arden because she was getting bullied by him too. This man, this man, Arden or Cardin is disrespectful, man. How are you just pulling on somebody's bunny ears? Kind of shit. But other than that, that's kind of all we got for this episode. It was it was some nice episodes. I'll give it that. But, you know, it hurts me to see my boy Jean going through this, man. My second favorite character. You, you can't do that, bro. You can't do that, man. <laughs> but uh, that's it for now. You know the deal. Catch y'all in the next episode. Drink plenty of water. Tell your loved ones that you love them. And of course, stay golden. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you look right above me, you can see two of my previous videos. So, if you feel like supporting your boy, feel free to check them out. It's okay. Take your time. I'll just be right here when you're ready to watch them.